Hello everyone. It is Mike Levin. Monday, February 7th, around 9 a.m. And I'm heading into the office. And over the weekend, I lost a friend. And he's someone who I only stayed in touch with very uh, casually over Facebook, mostly, with likes back and forth. And I'm sorry to say, mostly uh, him towards uh, me and my stuff. And once I realized it's a really sincere and sweet reaching out uh, gesture, I started liking his stuff back. And I uh, took particular notice when his profile switched from his, uh, you know, jolly self, uh, just a delightful guy, always projecting uh, happiness and uh, keeping his cool under any situation, which he had to do a lot because he often played the role of technical support to end users on some very complex products at Scala. Uh, but he switched his user profile to his one of his black and white pictures of himself as a kid, and uh, it was a uh, high contrast. Uh, really interesting to see happen and brought my uh, attention to him and I was thinking about him and I liked his picture back and then a few days later he has a massive heart attack and dies and he was I believe 47 he was always uh, a couple of years older than me I remember from my time with him at Scala and I think I knew him when I was 27 that was the time I was really working with him in the same office. Might have been younger than that. No, yeah, 20. That was when I was in Exton. He worked in Exton for a while too, Exton in Pennsylvania. But before that, I worked in Reston, Virginia. Uh, and uh, me and him and uh, my buddy from uh, actually high school, uh, Mark Rifton, uh, were working at Scala. Uh, there were a few others. Uh, David Mays, there's a group of us, uh, Mike Weaver, uh, Mark Manis, working there as a group, having a really great time, one of those special times where you felt yourself on the technology boom. Uh, startups were starting to happen, but interestingly, uh, their product and their market was the outer net at the time that the internet was being discovered. And in the shining glory of connecting desktop computers with dial-up, in those old days, just uh, after AOL, but before uh, common cable and DSL broadband, um, there was uh, a lot of uh, excitement over the internet, which completely shadowed anything that we are now coming to know as uh, captive audience, uh, out of home advertising. Uh, digital signage, there's so many words for it. Uh, environmental, ambient based marketing or advertising. Uh, you know, it's not quite point of purchase, it's in your everyday in between uh, your uh, destination points, your departure and your arrival. It's those points of transition where you're moving, where you can be marketed to by, there's no real great name for it, let's call it out of home advertising. And Scala uh, marketed to that. Uh, they had the software to control all these digital signs to wire them together and put the right message at the right place, the right time. And increasingly, as sensors come onto the picture, it could have the digital signage respond to environmental conditions, passerbys. And John Chang was amongst the technical support people uh, at this company. And uh, one of the good ones. Things got knocked up with uh, difficulty to higher and higher levels of technical support. And John, um, cheeringly and with a great attitude, took and you know uh, fielded uh, what's known as I believe it's uh, level one technical support. You talk to the end user. And John had the patience of a saint dealing with often complex uh, technical issues. And he would uh, very frequently uh, steer the customer through it or set them straight on their 
fundamental misunderstanding, which sometimes resulted in the fact that they would have never bought the product in the first place had they known that before. Sometimes you had some angry people who didn't want to be told something was not doable, at which time John would pass these people up the chain to, or up the uh, chain of, you know, the, the levels of technical support to someone who maybe was a programmer who could help someone with a custom script. And uh, that's how I remember him. Uh, always smiling, always jovial, and, uh, you know, he was the, uh, one of the most common motivators uh, and um, the participants in group events. Uh, John was one of those uh, hub centers and remained being that to me and a group of friends who yeah, I'm probably pretty sure I stay in touch with more tightly as a, a group. Uh, that would be the Scala folks, uh, both the Norway crew, who's all out there doing their things. Uh, hey, John Bomber, I enjoy watching uh, your activities. You're still an incredible person. Uh, I wish I have that level of energy and dedication to causes and purposes throughout my life. You're an inspiration. Um, Jeff Porter uh, really helped me at all levels of my career. Uh, I didn't always see eye to eye with him or appreciate him for uh, who he is and the uh, in critical role he played in my life and into the timeline that turned out to be uh, the Amiga computer. So, a uh, whole bunch of guys I would have liked to have known better recently discovered that RJ Michael, the software guy, is still around. I pictured all these guys passed away a long time ago uh, with Jay Miner's passing, but you know, folks like Dale Luck are still out there, and it's really an incredible thing. And this cloud of people uh, around which you know, John was one of the uh, sort of uh, larger circle facing uh, hubs. A lot of us stayed in touch because John liked things here, liked things there, pulled things together. We saw each other's comments and then we connected to each other. And uh, so right up until, you know, a week or so ago, um, I was actively thinking these very thoughts and really wish I had reached out more to John but uh, we always were in each other's uh, lives we could feel each other's presence and I know it's corny and cliche and this is what I posted when I chimed in online with the friends uh, talking about John uh, it is cliche but you know Facebook was John's media I'm glad he had that uh, in his life and uh, drew all of us his uh, circle, uh, his sphere, uh, his people from uh, all his incredible, diverse, globe-trotting uh, experiences closer together. And so here I am at the office. I think I'll stop there before I uh, break up. So John Chang, John P. Chang, John Paul Chang, we'll all always keep you in our hearts and uh, you're an important part of it and yeah for what it's worth